The circle of villus is a circulatory anastomosis that supplies blood to the brain and surrounding structures. If blood flow of one part of the circle becomes blocked, the blood flow from the other blood vessels can often preserve the cerebral perfusion to prevent the ischemia. Here you see the left and right vertebral arteries forming the basilar artery with branches along its course. They are the anterior inferior cerebellar artery, labyrinthine, multiple pontine arteries, and the superior cerebellar artery. The basilar artery finally bifurcates into posterior cerebral artery with its two segments P1 and P2. The circle of villus as you will now later on see is composed of both left and right sides of the following arteries. Posterior cerebral artery P1 segment, posterior communicating artery, internal carotid artery, anterior cerebral artery A1 segment and single anterior communication artery. The posterior communicating artery is seen giving off as a branch of the internal carotid artery just before it divides into its terminal branches, the anterior and middle cerebral arteries. The middle cerebral arteries supplying the brain are not is not considered part of the circle of willis. The anterior chor choroid artery is the branch of the communicating portion, C7 segment of the internal carotid artery. The ophthalmic artery is the branch of the ophthalmic portion C6 segment of the internal carotid artery. The hypothalamic artery arises from the anterior cerebral artery. The anterior cerebral artery forms anterolateral portion of the circle of villus. The anterior communicating artery connects the two anterior cerebral arteries. The anterior cerebral artery A2 segment can be seen along with its distal medial striae branch. The superior hypophysial artery is the branch of the ophthalmic portion C6 segment of internal carotid artery. Inferior hypophysial artery is the branch of the meningohypophysial trunk, which is the branch of the cavernous portion of the internal carotid.